All right, now comes the part where we set up the program to stream what's on our PC to our uh, Google Cardboard cell phone headset. Um, the program that I use to do this um, is called Into Game. Um, it's a program developed basically specifically for this reason. It allows you to simulate virtual reality in almost any game out there, um, any 3D game. Um, you can sort of configure it. Um, it takes care of the head tracking, it takes care of the streaming to your headset, and if we didn't already have a program on our PC to split it into the left and right views like Minecraft does, it can actually simulate that in a lesser fashion that allows us to use pretty much any 3D game out there with our Google Cardboard headset. The two caveats of Into Game, though, and I just want to make both of these very clear. The first, and this probably won't affect very many of you, it's Windows only. Right now, there is not a Mac version for it, which um, kind of stinks. I'm a Mac user myself. I'm actually running Windows through Boot Camp. Um, so there's currently not a Mac version, although I have seen things online that sound like the developers would think about doing a uh, Mac version sometime in the future, which is awesome. Um, but with that being said, you can still use either an Android phone or an iPhone with this. So you need to have Windows on your computer side, but as far as the phone goes, either iOS or Android will work. The caveat number two, and this is the one that I feel might turn some people off, this isn't a free program. Um, there's a there's a free trial version out there that allows you to sort of play around and make sure that this works for your setup and your purposes that allows you to play in five minute sessions but after five minutes it shuts off and you can restart it after that as many times as you want but you're not going to really want to play a full game having to restart this app every five minutes so um, this app the full version that lets you stream for an unlimited time costs ten dollars I know that's a lot as far as apps go and um, I understand that there are cheaper alternatives out there but for the simplicity and also just the fact that this one really works and really does an awesome job I highly recommend into game over most of the other kind of do-it-yourself alternatives out there um, the ten bucks gets you the ability to play almost any game that you own on in virtual reality and I think that that's an awesome thing and I think that that's a pretty fair asking price for what this program does um, but you know like I said there are some do-it-yourself alternatives out there if you want to look around but I think that this is well worth the ten dollars so to set this up you need both a, a an app for your desktop and an app for your smartphone. On the Into Game website, you can click on the download page, and if you scroll down, you'll see this big download button is to download the the client for your PC. Um, this basically does the communication with the smartphone um, and relays the head tracking information and stuff to your PC. So. Um, you need to have this um, download and install this I actually already have it running on my computer um, it's this very tiny client that when you just double click it it opens up and lives in your taskbar this is it right here this little dot down here um, so you need that um, that's very simple to download and install you also need a version for your smartphone like I said this is either iOS or Android and as you can see you can get it on either of the major app stores either Google Play or Apple's App Store I'm using an iPhone so you can go into the iTunes store and this is the free version right here this is the one with the five minute time limit but while you're getting this set up I would absolutely recommend downloading the free version before you plunk the ten dollars down just to make sure it works for your setup um, so you can download this you'll probably do it directly on your phone instead of going through your PC um, 
It has a very clean, simple interface. It's very simple to use and set up. Um, I definitely recommend this one for the, uh, the setup. Um, so now it's just basically a matter of pairing your smartphone with your uh, PC. Um, and I'll show you how to do that.